Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Night Thrasher, issue number one. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> this was exactly what I expected it to be, which is in many ways my worst nightmare. <laughs> At the same time, tis what it is, guys. This was somewhat fairly a little bit enjoyable, but not for any of the reasons that we would actually want in a comic book. But make no mistake, I'm probably going to continue reading this. This is one of those things, you know, where you compare, like, the worst camp, the best worst campy movies in the world. I'm not talking about quality pictures like the Friday the Thirteenth series or Michael Myers or or any of those other big budget, big budget slasher movies like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Friday or, and uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. No, 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 no. I'm talking about trolls, not just any troll. I'm talking about trolls too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm talking all those goofy, stupid, the, the, the kung fu movies with the really low budget. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm talking not, not, not the great Shaw Brothers stuff, all right? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the little stupid stuff. <laughs> it's just like, what the hell is this? Five Elemental Ninjas? That's technically Shaw Brothers. But blue-clad ninjas hiding in the water going... <laughs> And the water wheels. <laughs> That's the stuff I'm talking about. Those really bad movies. <laughs> Guys, let's get into who, who made this book. And we're going to go on from there. So um, this is called Remix Part 1. Don't call it a comeback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure all the ladies love Cool James. That being said, Jay Holtham wrote this. Uh, Nelson Danielle, uh, Danielle arted this. Matthew Mila colored this, VC's Travis Lanham lettered this, and Alan Qua is the cover artist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had so much fun with this. We start off with some of the campiest stuff in the freaking world. Bunch of people getting off the plane, doing all this stuff, and, and it's, all the, it's mostly all like white people. Guys, this is, <laughs> this is a very fun racial book. <laughs> <laughs> because you saw these people. I can't wait to get some pizza. What time's the show? As soon as I hit the, uh, uh, as soon as I hit the hotel, I'm gonna crash. Like <laughs> it's all these white people talking, and all of a sudden here comes Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne shows up. Dwayne Taylor. He shows up. You know, Night Thrasher, and he's like, "That's me." To the 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 dude the, at the airport with the name showing, and he's like, you know, give me your ride to my. My limo. <laughs> so you're my chauffeur. Goes to um, uh, Silhouette's dad's funeral. Uh, actually buried him and put his ass in the ground. There's the tombstone and all this stuff. And Night Thrasher's name is on it, though. I'm cool. I'm cool with it. Um, Silhouette gives her a little eulogy and whatnot. And she's she's funny. <laughs> she's funny in this. She's like, no, you have to do this. No, you have to do that. Uh, no, I don't want you to do this stuff. No, I can't help you. It's like you, you, but you said, <laughs> I, I don't understand. Oh, this is, this is that typical stereotype of women where they just can't make up their mind. Anyway, so, <laughs> I swear to God, um, the bad guys in this are a bunch of midget, midgets with, with, with hoodies and most of them are white. So I would like to point this out. Okay. They're in Harlem, <laughs> and the biggest threat are people in hoodies. But they're midgets. I know some people are like, no, they're little people. I'm sorry, does that sound like a good name? No, they're dwarves. I'm sorry, is this Dungeons and Dragons? Like, what are we doing here? No, 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 no. Any midget I've ever known in my life has wanted to be called a midget. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm quite literally trying to be respectful, okay? Like... <laughs> I always wanted to be called midgets. It, it, it feels so weird because there's so many SJWs out there talking about, you can't say that. Have you ever actually known one of the, like, 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 what do we say? These people, they want to be called midgets. Shut up. Anyway. So, and they're all in these, these black hoodies. <laughs> and it's a game. I swear to God. I swear to God. You remember the, the, what were they called? The fear circus or the psycho circus? No, that's, that's kiss. What were they called that was always going against the Hulk every so often? Ruby Tuesday was one of the uh, the villains. The Ringmaster was there. Oh, my God. <laughs> I swear to God, this is what it felt like. They should have been on unicycles juggling. But anyway, but they're all a bunch of ninjas, and they all learned a very similar style to what Rage learned. 
Uh, ra- damn it. Gave away the freaking... <laughs> gave away the onions on that. <laughs> Rage is in this comic book, guys. This is an issue number one, so spoilers galore. You should know this by now. Anyway, Night Thrasher is like, I just closed my company. Everybody's like, you can't close the company. We're trying to help people, but there's corruption on the inside. It's kind of like they're trying to do like a, like a, a cross between Iron Man and Winter Soldier. You know what I'm saying? Because like he's got the suit and he's awesome. And the next issue, he's gonna there's gonna be a reveal of a new suit, even though we already saw it in the cover for issue number two. It's basically the same suit but with a trench coat. It looks cool, but it'll be like next issue. Be here next month for the big reveal <laughs> of what we just showed you on the preview cover at the end of this page. Like, come on. <laughs> I was I was born at night, I wasn't born last night. Maybe Night Thrasher was. Oh, my God. This dude, he's like, I'm going to close everything down. I'm not going to help anybody. It's all got to end. I I came here to help people. I came here to help the people of Harlem. Do the people of Harlem tell you they need help? Like, I don't understand what this is. Look, they did... Marvel did the best they could in, in according to what they think is the best, all right? Jay Holtham is the the artist, or excuse me, the the writer here, okay? Uh, I'm going to put a picture of him, like, here. Look at this guy. So so he's black. So we're covered. We're covered. He's black. So he could write about Harlem, and and it's not like, like, like it's a harmony and equity and, and freestanding, and there's no, like, appropriation, right? Like, all the key words, positive and negative, are hit properly, right? And he's a successful dude. He's a playwright. At the same time, he's got a secret hero identity himself. He's also Mark Henry, wrestler extraordinaire. Oh, that's right. Sexual chocolate. (laughs) Tell me they don't look the same. (laughs) I looked at this dude, I'm like, that's Mark Henry. Shut your mouth. Don't tell me that is not Mark Henry. I'm looking at this dude right now. I'm expecting him to come walking out, talking about, girl, I'm going to lay you down and give you a baby, and it's going to come out like a head. No, that's that, that's sexual chocolate. <laughs> they're the same guy. I'm telling you right now. And that's the only reason why they're able to get away with it, because it's Mark Henry, and he can whoop all our asses. This is... Freaking hysterical, dude. This book is so bad. (laughs) But it's bad in a fun way. If you want to read a book and just be like, but that's so stupid. What happens next? (laughs) That's this book. That's this book. (laughs) I was dying reading this. I wanted to complain about it so bad, but I'm like, man, what happens next? (laughs) I... I loves me a bad book, like a good bad book. There, there are really crappy books out there. This is not one of them. <laughs> this book is so campy. It's got all the dumb tropes, and they hit in all the correct wrong ways. And I love it. <laughs> Dude shows up and he's like, got the suit, but at the same time he's got to save people, and at the same time, uh, I got to shut. The Hydra has infiltrated S.H.I.E.L.D., so I got to shut the whole thing down. So he's got the Witcher Soldier thing going on. I swear to God. Oh, my God. I swear to God. This is I've taken the Lord's name in vain far too many times in this issue. But, oh, oh it is so good. Please, God, please don't cancel this book. I love this so much. People, please buy this book. <laughs> please solicit this book. Buy two copies. <laughs> and the mom will be like, they love this book. <laughs> we must produce more. <laughs> we will renew you for another year. <laughs> That's what I want to see, guys. Please make this happen. <laughs> Look, I'll even do the I'll even do the thing like like from Big Trip in Little China. <laughs> Please let this book continue. He goes down the sewer. He says the dumbest thing. He's like, it's New York City. There's only but so many places to hide. Mother fat, has Jay Holtham ever been to New York City? <laughs> like, 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 maybe he's been to an apartment. <laughs> like, like a little one-bedroom 
me two bedroom apartment. You could be in an apartment and say, there's only but so many places to hide. <laughs> you know, so like there's, there's in the closet. <laughs> there's in the other closet. There's under the bed. <laughs> there's behind the couch. <laughs> Maybe we can fit like under the sink. <laughs> Don't hit the pipes. It's bad. Dad's going to be pissed. Oh, my God. <laughs> We could hide in the laundry hamper. There's clothes on the plane. How come none of the clothes are in the laundry hamper? And why is it moving? The laundry hamper seems to be breathing. That's what I'm seeing. Like that, that's where you could say, there's only but so many places to hide. In New York City alone, do you know that the subways, where he has to, where he immediately goes, of course, the subways have maps and they're layers of maps because there's so many places where they go. It's a city. Yo, New York, underneath New York City, is another city. <laughs> and I heard there's alligators down there. And I'm saying, I haven't seen proof that there's not alligators. But, like, you can't be in New York City talking about, there's only but so many places they can hide. Mother fathead, every single building has got, like, 500 hampers alone. <laughs> you can't tell me there's no place to hide. <laughs> This book was so dumb, and I need more of it, please. Please subscribe to this book. Oh, my God, please download the Marvel app and just leave this book open. <laughs> in the freaking thing. I, I really want Kevin Feige and, and like, all the people who are in charge just be like, the people really seem to like this Night Thrasher book. Maybe they'll make a movie. <laughs> Maybe they'll make a play. <laughs> And she hoped that the playwright can write the play. <laughs> Big New York City. <laughs> There's only but so many places you can hide in New York City. And it'll play off Broadway. People be like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> and they'll love it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to start sweating. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun reading a comic book in a long time, my peeps. Please get this comic book. Rage shows up. Whoops. Night Thrasher's ass. Like, like just the character alone of Night Thrasher, for crying out loud, you do realize this is a black man on a skateboard. I'm sorry. With all due respect. Seriously. Seriously. Name me how many freaking black guys on a skateboard you've seen. I don't have to say I'll wait because you're literally going to say this guy and uh, what is it, Golden Thunder, whatever the hell his name is, the other black guy on a skateboard in the Marvel Comics. There are two people who use a skateboard in the Marvel Comics. They're both black dudes. I mean, this is the reason why, like, like I read this comic book and I am, and there's a dude named Dwayne. I'm imagining Dwayne McDuffie creating freaking Milestone Comics because he was so pissed off at how dumb that was. This is a dumb character. This is a genuinely dumb character. The, I, 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 and and Holtham here has clearly found the only way to actually write the character believable. He is campy as hell. And I love this book. I'm not joking. Yes, it is a dumb book, but in all the right ways, it hits all the right notes to make this an instant campy classic. Guys, go read this book. Go subscribe to this book. Put it in your pull bin. Call up Marvel and... Ooh! And write letters. Write letters. Get published <laughs> in the back of the book. Say it's okay to print for me. <laughs> I beseech thee. Guys, and, and check this book out. It's so good. Like the video watching that. I'll talk to you guys later. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.